Hey, what's up fam? My name is Matthew Middleton and this is Millennials Drink and today we got a huge matchup for you. All right, so today in the first corner, I have the old, the trusted Mayomi Pinot Noir and just released today as well, well, I just got it today, is the Night Brigade by Joseph Wagner. All right, so we're gonna get into that today. We're gonna battle them out and I'm gonna tell you why this battle is so important. Let's check out this wine. Let me tell you about myself a little bit. My name is Matthew Middleton and I'm a beer and wine manager for HEB in the Woodlands. And I've been in this wine industry for 10 plus years, being a sommelier on the floor, helping to write wine lists. And now I'm here with you to talk about this huge battle. Mayomi versus the Night Brigade, Joseph Wagner's babies going to war. But it starts with Mayomi. So Mayomi, is a product made by Joseph Wagner, who's the son of Chuck Wagner. Chuck Wagner owns Camus Cabernet, one of the most recognizable labels in the world, out of Rutherford, Napa. Huge seller, I love it, you love it, all the moms love it. Anyway, it's not about Camus. It's about Mayomi versus the Night Brigade. So, Mayomi, right? It came from Joseph Wagner. He has a premium label called Bella Gloss. Bella Gloss has three vineyards, the Dairyman, Los Altores, and Clark and Telephone, all fantastic Pinot Noirs. And what he did is he took the second pressing of those three labels and turned it into Mayomi. It was Mayomi by Bella Gloss, having grapes from Santa Barbara, Sonoma Coast, and Monterey. When it first came out, it just exploded. You could find it for $22 if you're looking in retail. It was in all the fine dining restaurants being poured by the glass, and it was absolutely wonderful. It was one of those wines, one of those Pinots that drank like a cab, but yet drank like a Pinot, was very approachable, was fruit forward, had big oak, and almost like a milk chocolate flavor profile to it. And he sold, he sold out to invest in more land. So it's not a bad thing, Joseph. I think you did the right thing. He sold out for $315 million. And he agreed to be a consultant for two years with Constellation. So Constellation now has the label. It was selling at $22. Now it's selling for $15 to $16. You kind of see what happens, right? Something goes mainstream, it becomes a fruit bomb, and it just kind of falls off. People still love it, but it's not what it was before. Today, something hit my shelves that totally blew my mind. A brand new Pinot and a brand new Mayomi. The 2019 just hit my shelves. And I noticed some things that blew me away. Number one, the Mayomi vintage is gone. There is no vintage on it. It's, it's a non-vintage as far as I'm concerned. I look at the sell sheet and it says 2019, but nowhere on the bottle, not on the front, not on the back. There's no vintage. That blows my mind because when you're going not vintage, that's very indicative of a cheap wine. Number two, it used to say Monterey, Santa Barbara, Sonoma on the front label telling you where they got those grapes from. No longer says it. it says it on the sell sheet, doesn't sell it on the bottle. What the consumers see is none of that. And on the back, the biggest thing that I noticed was no signature by Joseph Wagner, which has been there up until the 2018 vintage. Now keep in mind, he hasn't been a part of it since 2017, right? So that brings me to the Night Brigade. The Night Brigade came out. It's by Copper Cane, which is Joseph Wagner's company that he releases all of his wines to. Now Copper Cane comes out. I see the Night Brigade. I notice right on the front label, Monterey, Santa Barbara, Sonoma Coast, Joseph Wagner's signature right on the bottom, 2019 vintage. What it's telling me, what it's telling me is that when Joseph Wagner sold, he had a non-compete clause, which makes so much sense. If you talk about Dave Finney and you talk about Prisoner, when he sold Prisoner and he had a non-compete clause for eight years, that's why now with Warren Swift, he released Eight Years in the Desert, his interpretation of what prisoner should be. And that's what I'm seeing here. Joseph Wagner coming back saying, hey, this is not what I meant to make. This is not what it 
what it was and I'm gonna make something better and it's at $17 so it's only two dollars more it's in a rivaling price point and I think the night brigade is coming to take out Naomi so let's taste them let's look at them and let's find out together if it's better and if it tastes like the old Naomi because that would be fantastic here we go Let's go ahead and try these wines. Let's compare, let's contrast, and let's see if the Night Brigade is like the old Mayomi. So let's start off by looking at colors. <clears throat> so first thing I'm gonna do is put it up against a white sheet of paper. That is the easiest way to do it. Uh, just taking a look around. Looks like a nice deep garnet color in the middle for both of them. And they both kind of come out to a nice light rouge on the rim, which is beautiful. All right, let's get rid of this. And let's go for the smell. All right, so we're gonna swirl, we're gonna swirl, and that's just to oxidize and open up. <clears throat> so three non-fruit components. So I get I get some uh, earth for sure. I definitely get some some oakiness, definitely, and a little bit of butteriness actually. I get bright ripe raspberry. Definitely red fruit, strawberry. And a little bit of citrus. Definitely a little bit of citrus. Lemon peel, maybe. All right. The Knights Brigade. No bias here. No bias here. I get like, we'll go fruit this time. I get like a, a lemon meringue pie. I don't know. It's some like darker fruit, almost like a plum, maybe a little bit of raisin. I almost get like a spicy pepperiness, you know? Definitely some oak. And again, I get some butteriness. Interesting, okay. Um, off the nose, for sure, I'm already leaning towards the Night Brigade, okay? And I'm really, really trying not to be biased, but you know what? I got so excited when I saw this on the shelf that I knew I was gonna have this internal struggle of Am I just gonna bash Naomi? Because I don't want to do that. Naomi, we sell so much Naomi, and I love Naomi, but it's definitely not what it was. Okay, the Naomi. Swirl and twirl, going around. And like I always say, the first taste is never the best taste. It's all about that second taste. So I'm gonna have that first taste, and then we're gonna go in for the second taste. Okay. Now let's go for that second taste and that's where we're gonna start to get some descriptors, okay? That's where we'll, we'll talk three and three again. So big thing off the top, okay? So I get crazy sweetness uh, for me. Crazy sweetness, not as big tannic structure as I remember there being before. Uh, a little bit of acidity causing me to uh, cause me to salivate a little bit. Not a crazy long finish, but you know, it's a $15 bottle. Um, kind of felt like I drank a little bit of Welchers right there. You know, like the purple Welchers. But okay, that's okay. Mail me. Not bad, not bad. 15 bucks, keeping that in mind. 15 bucks. Here we go. Here we go. The Night Brigade. I'm so excited for this, all right? Uh, we're gonna swirl in a whirl, do a nice smell. It's got more to it, it's got more oak vanilla -y. I get some 
chocolatiness to it almost. Just reminding me of uh, Bella Gloss, which I've had so many times and I'm super excited. Here we go. Ooh, the second taste is always the better taste. When you're in a restaurant and they're asking you, when you buy a bottle, are you ready, sir, after that first taste, take one more. Just take one more, that's all I'm saying. All right, here we go. Okay, this wine is definitely hotter than this wine. And by the, what I mean by that is there's more alcohol content. Um, I get some raisiness, some pruniness. I don't get as much chocolatiness as I remember being uh, in the past from, from the, the, the original Mayomi. I mean, the acidity in, in this is striking, cuts right through. I also kind of get a little bit of that Welchers like I was talking about over here. Maybe that's just my palate today. Um, but but like in, in both, not, not necessarily in a bad way. Um, but, but it's okay. It's okay. I wasn't crazy as impressed as I thought I was going to be. I was just super excited that something like this came out and that Joseph Wagner is back on this train again of trying to make, you know, what Mayomi was again. In my opinion, that's what I think he's doing. Uh, and I got some great acidity. Got some good fruit to it. Let's do, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these here. Let's do one of these here real quick before, before we, we close out here. It's, it's nice, it's got some great acidity to it. It's got some funk to it too, like some, some very organic soil matter, you know? This was definitely something I really enjoyed. I love the color, I love the smell. Is it Camus? I mean, come on, come on, it's not Camus. It's not, it's not, he's not quite up to that Chuck level, but he's definitely Joseph Wagner and he's here to make a statement and that statement is he makes Pinos, and they're fantastic. He sold off Mayomi, they're doing okay, but they're dropping in price, and I think that's for a reason. But I think the biggest striking difference between this versus that is the acidity, and that is something that is lacking in a lot of Pinot Noirs nowadays. Let's go uh, again, my, sale, my, my scale was a uh, uh, meh, okay, and oh yeah, right? I think there was another step in the middle, but I think this is okay, like it's good, I would buy it again, $17 is a great price point for what it is, and I think the Mayomi is okay, I think the Mayomi is 15 bucks, I think you should spend the extra two and get this uh, Night Brigade, because it's here to take out Mayomi, and it was good, it was acidic, it had some great fruit to it, and had some great citrus notes, I was really surprised. You know, lemon meringue, you know, is something that I really got. Lemon curd, just really beautiful citrus notes. So, my name is Matthew Middleton. This is Millennials Drink, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Cheers.